holding hands. When I was little, I liked my nursery school. Different things happened every day. One day, Miss Claire, my nursery teacher, took us all to the gym at the big school. Now we need to make sure we all hold hands at all times. We held hands. I held hands with Louise. Now we're going to cross some roads, said Miss Claire. We had to look and listen for the traffic. We held hands and waited for the green man. The traffic stopped and the green man came on. Cross. Hold hands and straight across the road and keep looking, said Miss Claire. What do we do? When we came to another road, there was no green man. Take extra care, said Miss Claire. We'll find a safe place where we can see all the roads. When there was no traffic, Miss Claire guys. said it was safe to cross. Hold hands and straight across the road. And keep looking, said Miss Claire. The big school was big. The gym was big too. There was lots of room to play. Claire made an obstacle course. On the way back, we crossed all the roads again. I looked and listened and held hands. I did everything Claire told me. After school, my daddy came to collect me, to take me to the library. Daddy! <gasps> Miss Claire told daddy that I'd been very grown up and sensible at crossing the roads. Come on, Dad. So do you have fun? I felt pleased. I felt like a big girl. I'll take my hand. No. Why not? Because I'm a big girl. Hold my hand, said Daddy. No, I said. Tick. When the green man turned to green, Daddy picked me up and carried me across the road. We came to another road. Right, Tig, we need to cross the road. Take my hand, please. No. Hold my Why hand. Not? I am a big girl. You Daddy picked me Come up on. and carried me straight Same. across the road. Right. I was not happy. Roads, okay? In Come the on. library, I was cross. Do you want to choose a book, choose said a book. Daddy. No. No, I said and Why sat with Wooly. I was very up. cross. Hey, Tig, it's not nice being treated like a little girl just when you think you are a big and sensible girl. It's not nice being told what to do when you think you know everything. But just because you know how to cross a road safely doesn't mean that Daddy should let you do it all by yourself. Boom, boom, honk, honk, beep, beep. <coughs> Roads are busy places. Holding Daddy's hand lets him know you're safe. Holding Daddy's hand lets you know he's safe too. Then you can both look. Beep, beep. And listen without any worries. You can cross the road safely together. So go for it, Tig. Be clever and say sorry to Daddy and hold his hand all the way home. Beep, beep. Yes, I thought. I'll be clever. Sorry, Daddy! And say sorry to Daddy. Daddy and me chose a library book. The library lady got a shock when she saw Willy. <gasps> it's only a tight spider. I held Daddy's hand all the way home. I like to be safe. I love Willy. We've been Rain. When I was little, Daddy took me in the car to play in the park. The car was very dirty. We'll have to take it to the car wash, said Dad. Willie came too. That's a good tag and you get. I'd never been to a car wash before. There you go. Thank you very much. Daddy right, made sure all the windows were closed. Right, that's us. 
Daddy drove into a big box machine with giant brushes. Suddenly, the brushes came towards us. I don't want to go in. I don't like this, I said. I think the cars get this hair washed. Cheer up, Seg, said Dad. It's like the car's having a hair wash. One rubber dubber. Two rubber dubber. Three rubber dubber. Four rubber dubber. Daddy was right. It was like a big hair wash with your eyes open. The wind the open. The big brushes word and rubber dubber the car. Five rubber dubber. Six rubber dubber. And swoosh. The machine. Wash the shampoo off. Here comes the big hair dryer. A giant hair dryer dried the car all over. Daddy drove the car out of the car wash. The car looked all shiny and new. Daddy was so pleased. On the way to the park, it started to rain. Oh no, it's raining. At the park, we splashed through a puddle. Daddy wasn't pleased. Oh no, look at my car! The car wasn't shiny. Daddy was grumpy. Daddy and me ran to a cafe out of the rain. We'll just uh, wait here till the rain stops, OK? But Daddy was grumpy. Daddy just sat. He didn't even get me a drink. I drew a picture. Daddy was making me grumpy too. Hey Tig, no need to be grumpy too. Daddy's just fed up, that's all. Daddy had a nice clean car and now it's all dirty again. Things didn't go quite how he wanted them to go. It rained, deary me. Daddy needs cheering up like he cheered you up in the car wash. One rubber dubber, two rubber dubber. Daddy's fed up with the rain, so show Daddy how rain can be fun. Jumping puddles. Whee! Twirling umbrellas, catching raindrops, and listening to the rubber dub dub sound of the rain on the roof. Go for it, Tig. Give Daddy a big smile. Yes, I thought. I'll cheer Daddy up. Wow. That is brilliant. Well done. Come on. Doesn't look as if the rain's going to stop. Come on, then. I'll show Daddy how to have fun in the rain. Oh, no. We jumped in puddles. We twirled our umbrellas. <laughs> we caught raindrops. Whoa, the rain. Come here. Quick, tag! We listened to the rubber dubber dubber of the rain on the roof. Whoa! It's a puddle monster! When Daddy saw Willie in a puddle, puddle he said, Ah! Oh, my toy spider! It's only my toy spider, I said. Whoa, did you hear it? Look! Whoa. I like fun in the rain. I like to see my Daddy happy. Your hand out like that. I love Willie. Willie and Willie loves me. We've been together since we were wee. He's my spider, cuddly dog.